novel autoimmune hepatitis is a form of chronic inflammation that we see in the livers of children who have received a liver transplant for a condition that's not been immune mediated. Patients who have de novo autoimmune hepatitis have cells which we call regulatory T cells that are not functioning in the way they're supposed to function. These cells are supposed to dampen inflammation and prevent inflammation. However, we think in de novo autoimmune hepatitis, those cells don't work in that same way. And we think they may actually sometimes be contributing to the inflammation that um, we see in de novo autoimmune hepatitis. If there's inflammation in the liver that's not treated, scar tissue forms and with significant scar tissue formation cirrhosis can develop and with development of cirrhosis the liver then fails to do its um, normal functions leading to the need for a second or third transplant. We're not quite sure exactly what causes de novo to begin with. It seems to be the reports coming out of the different liver transplant centers seem to give us a prevalence of 5% and probably on the higher range of things would be 10% and I think that's probably a high number. One of the things that we're trying to look at is to see if there's a way we can actually prevent people from getting de novo because so, I think that would be beneficial to our field if we can actually prevent individuals from getting de novo. So we're not necessarily look, looking for a cure to it as opposed to if there are things that predispose people if we can actually prevent that occurring. The fundraising that was done certainly contributed to the work on outcomes research as well as the work we were doing on de novo at Children's and it was really with the funds that were raised that we found that we were able to find that um, these regulatory T cells were not functioning in the way we thought they should really in healthy transplanted individuals and um, it was really a lot of that funding that also showed us that perhaps these regulatory T cells were not really regulatory, rather they were perhaps producing um, inflammatory type cytokines. I'd like to wholeheartedly thank Miracles Made Through Research for a lot of the contributions when I was at Lurie Children's Hospital and I am indeed exceedingly grateful for that.